I want to give you a little overview of what you're going to be hearing about today. We're going to be talking about three big issues, which are constantly big issues in Georgia, tax reform, health care, and education. And there are two major themes. Uh, one is rural Georgia, because that is going to be a focus in the legislative session this coming year. There's been a study committee going around the state. I'm from rural Georgia, LJ in the mountains. I appreciate that focus. Uh, there are some wonderful advantages to living in rural Georgia, and there's some challenges. And if we want to make our state the best it can be, we need to not forget about the other part of our state outside of Atlanta. So you'll notice in our first panel, the employers that we have do not come from the core Atlanta counties. They're outside of Atlanta, and they have facilities all over the state. Uh, at our second panel, we have somebody from America's Georgia who's going to talk about uh, the insurance markets in rural Georgia and the hospital issues. If you think it's bad in Atlanta, it's much worse in, in rural Georgia. And later on this afternoon in education, we have a teacher from Camilla, Georgia, who is doing amazing things, literally tr being you know, asked to speak around the world with the things she's doing in Camilla. So she hasn't let those barriers get in her way. You know, how can we empower other educators the same that she has been? And then the other theme is the federal government. Now, we're a state-based think tank, so we want to focus mainly on state issues, work with our state legislators and their staffs to solve big problems, but you can't escape the federal government sometimes. So health care is a great example. Uh, through their failure to address the problems, they've sort of put the grenade in our lap. Uh, you know, some things happened in the last 24 hours, but I don't think anybody thinks that is going to solve all the problems. We've got a great opportunity in Georgia, and we're going to talk about how we can move forward and address those issues now that the federal government has it. In education, it seems like every four to eight years, we're having to deal at the state level with some new acronym. You know, now it's ESSA. It was NCLB and RT3. And, you know, all that does is cause our teachers, you know, to have to learn a whole new bureaucracy to comply with. What we're going to focus on today is what can we do for teachers in the classroom and students in the classroom, both K-12 and higher ed, uh, kids that are worried about the high cost of college tuition, teachers that are frustrated by all the bureaucracy. Uh, that's going to be a fantastic panel. And then in taxes, you all know that what Washington is working on now is tax reform. Could be the biggest tax reform since the Reagan years. But that's going to flow down, if they're successful, to the state level. And we may have an extra amount of money to try to figure out what are we going to do with it. And that might be the, the catalyst that we need. We've been trying for a long time to address our income tax in Georgia. Many other states have been get, dropping their rates as, as ours has stayed the same since 1937. This might finally be that catalyst to allow us to reform our individual income tax code here in Georgia. So, that leads us to our morning keynote speaker, Jonathan Williams. Now, I've known Jonathan for over a decade. He is probably one of the most knowledgeable tax experts in the country. Uh, he works with the American Legislative Exchange Council, which works closely with legislators all over the country. He literally is everywhere. Uh, he was at last week, I was talking to him, he was on the West Coast. Yesterday, he was in Baton Rouge. I guess he was consulting with ta on tax reform and how to reform the football team. They have a little, little a few setbacks. Uh, and now we're really happy he got in la late last night uh, to Atlanta from Washington, and uh, he's here to be with us. He is also the co-author of the book Rich States, Poor States, which you all have a copy of, thanks to the American Legislative Exchange Council. He co-authors that with Steve Moore, and Art Laffer. Steve Moore used to be on the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal. He's been to our events to speak many times. Art Laffer is the eponymous Laffer Curve uh, under the Reagan tax reform. So he's in pretty strong company. And so we really appreciate uh, Jonathan giving us those books for free, this incredible reading material. Hopefully you'll take that home and take a look at it. Very educational. And we appreciate you for being here. Now one last little tidbit that's not in the program. And we're not going to read bios today because you've got a program with everyone's bio. And literally everyone here probably have a three-page bio. But a little tidbit you may not know is Jonathan is a great softball player, great athlete in, in, uh, 
all around, but he was on the USA, which I didn't even know we had this, um, Olympic softball team. I believe he won the gold medal, right? Oh, yeah, okay, maybe not. So if you're ever in Washington, you've got a little pickup softball game and you're looking for a ringer, call Jonathan. So everyone help me welcome Jonathan Williams. <laughs> 